Yeah, we um, we have been told you are scared of a few things. You do have a few. Yeah. Uh, some might say irrational <coughs> fears. Yeah, can't deny. It. So let's just go through a few, and maybe you can say why you are okay. scared of these okay. things. We've been told you're scared of elevators. Yeah, that's true. Another thing you're scared of is showers. Just get sleeping. Another fear you got. Oh. Planes. Apparently you're scared of security guards. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cult Status Podcast, episode six. Tinny, this is literally a huge episode. Jeez, mate, I can hardly hear you because you're that far away. We've got what? three <laughs> people in between us. <laughs> We're outnumbered on the couch. Yeah, I don't know if the couch you is going to hold up. Yeah, so <laughs> something different. I'm a bit intimidated, not going to lie. Um, first time we have been outnumbered on the podcast, as you said. Yeah. Um, well, let's introduce these guests uh, um, to my right. Before we do that, oh, let's just oh, shout oh, out Origin. Oh. We are wearing Origin yet Origin again. Apparel, shout so, out. Um, <coughs> Thank you very much. I, I will say to Ben, though, he's getting cold, so those yeah. jumpers. So. Hoodie, hoodie season's coming. Yeah, I might, might have to invest. And get so. around it. And $60 yeah. hoodies with the cold status pod code 10% yeah, off. That's that it. That drops it down to 54 bucks. That's it. So Ooh. get involved. Great deal. Oh, All right. Well, let's... <coughs> Before Tin interrupted, uh, <laughs> starting from my right, Mackenzie Fox, 18 years of age, the middle child. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? That is great. Uh, to your right, Jackson Fox, 16, the youngest child. Yeah. How are you, Jack? Yeah, good, going well. And we might be referring to Jack as Jude for yeah. the podcast. Can we actually find Sorry. out why he's Jude? Um, is it, was there a reason behind that? Or actually, a couple of years ago, we all made names for each other. Kent here and it was um <laughs> it was a big fatty <laughs> but, um, but no just, uh, uh, Jude's the one. the one that stuck I think I, yeah, I actually yeah. call you Jude more oh, than everyone that, everyone, everyone calls me now yeah, yeah. and um, obviously the uh, bloke to Jude's right Nick the eldest 21 year old how are you yeah good brilliant okay <laughs> <laughs> okay oh, yeah. yeah um yeah. Well, look, you know, obviously we're all friends now, mm. and very good friends. Are we? But, oh, jeez, oh, uh, early days, and the party going on that. Speaking of early days. Yeah, well, it wasn't always, we weren't, we weren't always this close. Um, myself and Mac, obviously, in the same year at school. Mm. Well, how did, how was our first impression of each other, Mac? You're a bit of a dick. Oh, <laughs> you know seven. the story. Yeah. From what I remember, at I South Free Oval. South Free Oval, explain the story. Mm. Well, I saw you and you were acting to be a good bloke, and then you stole my phone and ran around for about an hour whoa, with my phone. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, Axel, you used to bully Mac. Is that right? I do not think so. I thought it was more like tough love. Like, I saw this kid had potential to be a good bloke, he just needed a bit of guidance. <laughs> <laughs> I was there to provide it. Oh, Maybe Max should have sat at this side of the couch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the over there. Yeah, he's but, you know what? It's actually, <laughs> I believe this um, bullying claim because there was an incident at Ned's house once. Oh. oh <laughs> you want to go into that? Our friend Ned. Oh. Yeah, look, so myself and Mac... Now we have this rule that we can't play basketball together, and if we do, we we I'm actually have to be on the same team because <laughs> if we're not, like it's just going to be a fight. And um, this one time at Ned's, I think I might have thrown you up against a fence. Uh, is uh, how was your recollection of events? I remember you doing that, and then you stormed off. You yeah, left. <laughs> you yeah. Left the house. I think I was there. We were oh. all there, all of us. Tinny as well. Genuinely, I thought that was the end. Like, I thought <laughs> these two would not be friends ever again after that. And I know I drove Axel home, and he was distraught. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, honestly, I'm surprised that they're sitting next to each other today. Oh, like, it was pretty intense <laughs> battle, wasn't it? Oh. Well, I I got thrown up against the fence. I didn't throw anyone up. Yeah, no, it was it was intense. <laughs> yeah, um, and, um, mm. definitely worrying. Now, Mac, um, 
one thing you did do, mate, is you've come up to me and you've sort of gone, Tinny, I want to be like you. I'm going to grow some facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to grow a mo. Right? Um, For those watching, zoom in. Yeah, really unfortunately, I think we, we will zoom up in on him here. <laughs> Users at home might be thinking, oh, he must have said that this morning. That was, that was probably two months ago. Now. <laughs> <laughs> um, surely we can, you know, do a bit, bit better effort than that, mate. <laughs> Chill out. We're not all half, we're not all half Serbian Italian, mate. <laughs> it's hard for some of us. Oh, mate. Anyway, I just thought we'd chat that in for a bit of a laugh. But um, we want to know how you guys got here today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Matt, you were, you were 18, aren't you? Yeah. 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 How'd, how'd, you, how'd you get here? Do you drive? Or <laughs> I didn't drive. Oh. Oh. Ask Nick. Hey, Nick, how'd uh, you get here? My car's broken at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lift off the girlfriend and yeah. Well, look, there is very interesting <laughs> stories for both of you <laughs> of how you can't drive. Let's start with you, Mac. Uh, you've actually had a couple tests. Yeah. Tell us about what's happened there because you have been stitched up. A Big few time. times. Big well, time. I've been out like four times in total. Four, First four time. tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I haven't done the test four times. I've been to the driving centre four times. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I did, I did them, well, I did them in my mum's car instead yeah. of the instructors. And the first time we went out there, it was the seat belt had a little bit of like uh, a little bit of a rip. In it. Yeah, a rip in it. A little so bit, little like bit still. frayed. Would you say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't not, not so much. And then the second time, and they said they they wouldn't do the mm-hmm. test with that. Yeah, it was on her seatbelt, and she said she felt unsafe. Oh wow! And then the second time, there was a crack in the windscreen, and they didn't. And feel she safe. yeah, she didn't feel safe. And then the next time we went out there, it was a different lady, and there was the crack in the windscreen again. But then she felt safe. Because her manager came out and said, no, you have to do it. Yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. Can't, you can't not do it because of yeah. that. And then dad had had a go at her. And then we were both like, oh, we don't want to do it. She's not going to pass me no matter what. And then we like went for a drive for like 10 minutes, came back. She said, I failed. Wow. And then the third time. A fourth time. Fourth now, time, I mean. Been out there. <laughs> yeah, fourth time I was with a good bloke and I just failed. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> are we any closer to your fifth? Not really. <laughs> no, it's been like four months yeah, now. I feel like it, it, I'm just scared to go out there. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll, um. Hopefully we get there in the end, mate. That's all that matters. Um, but yeah, also, Nick, you've um, you can't drive either. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> <That's true. laughs> at least Max got to a test. I haven't quite made that um, no. You're three years older than him. I am. <laughs> Do you want to talk us through your reasoning oh, behind not getting your license yet? Not a big fan of driving. Not a big fan. <laughs> yeah. Would you say? Possibly a little bit scared on the road. Uh, yeah, you can say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, an hour all up, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> one hour. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Three years worth. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, we um, we have been told you are scared of a few things. You do it's have crazy. a few. Yeah. Uh, some might say irrational <coughs> fears. Yeah. Can't deny it. Yeah. So let's just go through a few, and maybe you can say why you are okay. scared of these things. Okay. Right, so <laughs> I'll, I'll kick us off. We've been told you're scared of elevators. Oh, yeah, that's true. Is yeah. that just the obvious reason? Of I just think cost- stairs more practical. Get an exercise. The fire of fitness. As you can tell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so just claustrophobic reason or? Yeah, my auntie's been trapped in one. It wasn't really? The most pleasant experience. So. Oh, nice. I'm going to take the stairs from now. Fair enough. So have you ever been in an elevator? Yeah. I've had a few jobs where I've had to go in the You had to? Yeah. Shut my eyes and hope for the best. Do you ever just like put the package in the elevator and you go, you go stand and stand. I have done that one, but if you miss it, you got to go right there. <laughs> yeah, trouble. Um, another thing you're scared of is showers. That's not, so, that's not true. No. You, you used to wear a helmet in the shower. That's not true. <laughs> Completely denied that. So I was, I was I've brought my helmet into the bathroom because I might be going for a ride after. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. just chuck it on. Grab the just shower, in the shower. the shower. Yeah. Save, save one job. Yeah. And... <laughs> Maybe you're scared of showers, or maybe you're scared of the water bill. Because one night, <laughs> one night, <laughs> you left it on all night. It's true. Yeah, it's all through that. <laughs> oh, so me and my mate Ned having a bit of a big night on the piss, and um, yeah, we've gotten home. And I can't say I really remember after about midnight. <laughs> we've gotten home. And I usually like to have a shower when I get home. Yeah. So I'm like all clean for the morning. Helmet on or no? <laughs> At that stage, the helmet goes out. <laughs> No, but I've, so I'm, I don't remember it, but I must have gotten in the shower, or I like turned on the shower yeah. at some point, 
and like forgotten it was on. I think Dawn to get a Sunday or something, knowing me. Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely midnight snack. We will talk about this. Yeah. Later. Okay. <laughs> and then yeah, just left it on until oh. the morning and dad. I've kind of woken up, classic hungover, and dad's been like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, oh my god. Left the shower and left it on. Oh. He would not have been too happy. <clears throat> he wasn't. You're not happy at the best of times. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you didn't just see the water get a bit frightened. Just go, no, no. <laughs> Stay right away. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> well, look, another thing that we've actually been set, it's been sent in that you're scared yeah. of this, you're scared of sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what this is about? No. Apparently, you sure. used to have a few sleeping strategies back in the day. Strategies? Yeah. I'll, I'll give you an example. Okay. Supposedly, you used to set your alarm every two hours <laughs> and wake up. Yeah. Oh. Why is that? I think I read something about someone dying in their sleep and I still get safe. Woke up and checked I was still good. So yeah. that's the fear, dying in your sleep? Yeah. yeah. You well, you well if you're dying in your sleep, an alarm's not going to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in hindsight. Like, well, well, the smartest man. How old are you? <laughs> oh. You're right, you know. Was there anything else to that, or was that that was a story? That's um, that's all I remember. What you got? Okay, no, I was just um, wondering. But already <laughs> twice this year, he's been found asleep in the shower, and like no one's found <laughs> him. Like yeah, knocked out after a night out, just laying in the shower. And really? like, Dad found him once, and I found him the second time. And he was just laying there. And if no one came, he was going to be just under the running water Jeez. all night. Set your alarm next well, time. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't bring the alarm yet. Yeah, need a shower alarm. <laughs> Throwback to the Sizzle episode. Yeah. When, he, when Jack Allen Dixon speaks about him and his mates falling asleep in the shower. That's it. Don't yeah, I, did, I didn't think. <laughs> 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 together. No, no, no. Oh, just I didn't yeah. think it was normal. No, yeah, no. no. Apparently. I guess it's just normal. Yeah. <laughs> um, another fear you got. Oh. <laughs> oh, you've got a few, yeah. mate. So, need to get through. Oh. Planes. Plans, yeah. Yeah, so you, have you ever been on a family holiday overseas? Yeah, or, yeah. Is that still that year? Have you been on a plane? Yeah, yeah. I think 2014 was my last plane. Once? Twice? Oh, about, I don't know, five times. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, but not for a while, not for six years. Yeah, it's And in fact, there's one time, you were meant to go to Sydney, right, <laughs> to see the family over there, because you've got family there. Yeah. Um, you've got a cousin over there called Cooper. Shout out to Cooper. Big shout out to Cooper. She would have been eight or nine at the time. You made her. She would have been about six or five. And you would have been 15? 15 or? About 16. Yeah, okay, 16. So you would have have flown there and said hello or? Nah. (laughs) What happened? I was feeling a bit the night before that we got to the airport. I was with my granddad at the time. Yeah. I think I I just kind of saw the plane and that was the first time I was like, oh, I can't do this. So I've gone to the bookshop and just, <laughs> it's a good spot to hide the bookshop. And I was just looking <laughs> <laughs> around to friends and like, yeah, what are you doing? He's been an angry bloke, my granddad. And uh, yeah, I was, he's ended up having to take my little cousin off the plane. Yeah, see, I heard that she had to do a solo flight over. She did, she did. Wow. At six years old. <laughs> That's all true, yeah. <laughs> wow. No comment. <laughs> wow. She's moving on to another fear. Yeah. <laughs> we love your fear. Um, <laughs> apparently, you're scared of security guards. <laughs> Care to elaborate on maybe an example oh, or two yeah. of yeah. why you might be scared? And if you were also on this couch and you were there, feel free to, to jump in and give your side of the story. Oh, well, I know how it started. Yeah, you know, okay. It was we, me, well, it was me and my friend going to... <laughs> The um to metros and then she we had been in the city yeah so we were both kind of drunk but not too bad and we were in the line and then the security guard at metros wouldn't let us in because he said that she was too drunk so we were kind of like oh like it was a piss off but he was just like oh you're not coming in all that and then I saw Nick and his girlfriend like further up the street so I ran up to him and I was like I was drunk and I was like oh yeah this dickhead's not letting us in and all that and like oh yeah like come help so Nick came down and then. No, he, Nick, <laughs> Nick, come help. Yeah. <laughs> the dude who's scared of the showers. Please come help. Well, he, yeah, he, he, came, he kind of just abused the guy a little bit. Oh, yeah. Not too bad, just calling him a dickhead and all that. Yeah. And just like, for not letting her in. And then we left, and then the next weekend, it was just me and him, me and Nick. And then you know the story from him. Uh, yeah. He doesn't remember it, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember I give, it, give it a shot for him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's another night out, and we've... I've completely forgotten that week before, pretty much. We've gone to Metro's, same crew. 
And uh, yeah, got to the front of the line. The guy just hasn't even given us a bar of his time. He just <laughs> opened the gate. Like, a side gate. <laughs> we had to give gate. a bar of his time to you. <laughs> <laughs> Open the gate like that. And I've, I needed a smart ass when I'm drunk, so I've gone for the old head. It's <laughs> 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 like that. Nothing aggressive. Just kind of yeah, like, just oh, a, good on you, mate. As I'm yeah, walking good out. Good on you. Yeah. Uh, from my memory, I could be wrong. I'm, I've turned to walk out and I've just got about three haymakers to the back of the head. Yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I from witnessed this. From the Secchi. From the Secchi. That was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I Jeez. witnessed this and he genuinely put him in a headlock and just throat punches and just, yeah. I'm going, <laughs> what? No one expected it. Did you know there was no like, I was hey, good nah, for jumping, just, jumping yeah, in, Tenny. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, yeah, no, I don't know you were that much. Hey, Tenny was holding him, holding you. No, but it was Jenny just, was like, grab his leg. I just couldn't believe it. Problem with Tim's for years. Yeah, it, it happened, happened at school even. Yeah. Oh, oh, the year 12 pinned me against the locker and Tim. Yeah. <laughs> no. Jenny's no, like, Jenny, too so busy pinning your sevens at <laughs> the locker. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> um, but I will say that was just so surreal because there was no mm. like, like raised voices or anything mm. like that. It was just, no, I sort no. of turned around and you've got, you're in a headlock and you Getting absolutely demolished by this guy. You don't expect it. Let's get, <laughs> let's get down. Let's get down. <laughs> Apparently. Oh. Um, now, you boys are free of locals, clearly. <laughs> um, born and raised. Do everything there. I don't think you've left Freo. No. In about Rarely, 12 yeah. years. So. <laughs> and now, Jude, you've been yeah, awfully quiet been. tonight. So yeah. let's, let's get to your question. I have been. You did lose your phone in Freo once. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky to remember this one. <laughs> How'd that happen, mate? Well, one side of Saturday, I had to throw f- to Metro's with all you guys, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, <laughs> um, Max had jumped in the Uber, so I got in, and I had finished a, well, most of a goon bag that night. <laughs> and um, I remember getting out of the nice. Uber, and I remember something dropping on the ground, but I thought nothing of it. I thought it was like a coin or something. Yeah, cool. why well, wouldn't you look That's at it? That's a <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's no, like, probably a coin. I well, think actually, no, Mac was like, hold the fuck up. Like, we've got to get in the line. It's pretty long. Mac's fault. That would have been a massive coin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Huge coin. Anyway, the $500 coin. Yeah, huge phone size coin. <laughs> anyway, so I ended up getting in the line. And I was like, halfway through the line, there's a little laneway next to Metro. I was like, oh, fuck, I feel so sick here. So I run down the laneway and start vomiting like heaps. And I jump back in the line. I get to the front. He checks my ID. And I remember getting through to like, the main bit. And she's like, you've got to pay the like, $10 entry fee. And so I go to reach my phone. God knows where it's gone. Not there. So I'm like, oh, shit. Like, oh. I pull out all these coins, like $2 coins. Oh. Like, you just take Tried these. Tried to pay entry with coins. Yeah. And she's like, no, like, just get out. Apparently, you dropped your coin on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> no. So anyway, I ended up running home because I was freaking out and had my phone. <clears throat> vomiting along the way, actually. And then, then I got home and Dad was like, you're a fucking idiot when I picked your phone up. This guy, like, this guy had found it in for and, like, held on to it. Like, he was, like, a 20-year-old. Yeah. You'd think he'd just take it. Good bloke. But he held on to it and Dad went and picked him up, so. Legends. Shout out, Charlie. Got it back. You're the man. <laughs> that that yeah. reminds me, the coin part of that story reminds me of something similar that happened to me once. Uh, so some, some day, can't remember, uh, this friend of mine was like, oh, can you pay for my food? I'll give you coins. Mm. I'm like, oh, I hate coins. So whatever though. So they give me the coins. I put them on my wallet. And then later on that night, uh, I'm in Frio. Go uh, into Metro's. Go straight to the bar to get a drink. <laughs> uh, I'm like, yep, vodka Red Bull. And that, so they've made the drink and then they go to make me pay. Get the card out. Oh, no. Not enough on there. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. So then I get my phone out. The bank app isn't loading. So then I'm like, oh no. So I get my wallet out and I'm like, surely I've got notes, something. Give them a $10 note. Then I start looking through the coins. Give them another dollar. So I need two more dollars. Mm. No other gold coins. The rest silver. <laughs> a, a 50, a couple of 50s and 20s and a 10s. Yeah, oh, it was, worst yeah. I was like, if people see me, I've got to look like the biggest creature. Just get, paying for a drink with coins at Maddie's. I'll quote you here. That was the most demoralizing moment of your life. It was. <laughs> like quoted. Because you come in thinking, yeah, ready for a good night. And yeah. then all of a sudden you're like, oh no. <clears throat> I'm paying for a drink in silver silverware. Wow. <laughs> not too good. It's not great. Well, look, obviously, Char- we talked about Charlie saving you, yeah. your father. Well, there's actually another time in Freo when I saved Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, uh, on your birthday at Arbor, <clears throat> uh, we, we were all there. Yeah. 
it was a, a pretty good night. And uh, we got to the end and we're around the side, near the mulch area from where I believe. Mm. And I think you were having a lie down, having a bit of a nap. Just, yeah, quick power nap. <laughs> yeah. I'll um, be back. And, yeah. and did you remember any of this at all? I remember a bit. Like, yeah. we were sitting on the stool yeah. behind Arbor. And you had walked off for some reason. Probably take Because apparently you were vomiting in the gutter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The side of the road. yeah, yeah. But yeah. you had walked off and then I remember just sitting there on the stool, just waiting. Wait, leave. yeah, waiting to and leave. Then, about to be about to pass out. Yeah, and then I don't know what they. I no, I didn't look up or anything. I just heard voices and all these people coming over, like trying to take my phone and my wallet. And then that's when I heard you. Yeah, yeah, they're like, like you weren't. Wallet. You speak a big game, but you weren't being tough. You were just like, <laughs> <laughs> this is, like what I remember was you being like, please, it's his birthday. Don't take it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you didn't try and stop them very well. You were just like, don't do it. It's well, his birthday. I honestly had no memory of it, but you know what? I think it's a great technique. <laughs> Say, hey, look, come on, it's his birthday. Don't, don't be a dick. And what did they do? They did. They didn't take your wallet. They were, they were like, fair enough. <laughs> wouldn't want, wouldn't want my wallet stolen on my birthday okay. either. And uh, do you remember any of that, Nick? No. <laughs> no, so, no, no, no. so you used to blame me before for being nice to the security guard and try to say, "Oh, Nick, get off, Nick, leave, leave, Nick." <laughs> and you didn't even say that though. Yeah, you I did. didn't. <laughs> I mean, you, you, this is probably you're, you're like, "Oh, jeez." Oh. No, he was like, "I should probably." I said, oh. said "Please <laughs> stop." It's his birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please stop. Please stop. Don't throw punch him. <laughs> you ran off. So don't, for don't blame me for that. <laughs> oh, I'm late, mate. <laughs> Um, yeah, but that is a good story, and that probably saved your friendship, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Just because of the, <laughs> yeah. the bullying incident. But, um, back to Jude. Back to Jude. Kai Bailey's told me something. You once got right. run over by an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> this is a rather large story. <laughs> I'll round it down a little bit, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we'll come home from a party once in, like, I think it was in Hilton or something. And um, I got the Uber. Actually, no, my mate did art. And um, we got on the Uber and we were all like, oh, we want to kick on. So we thought we'd go to the bottle low. And like, nice. I got out, didn't get served because I kind of remember trying to get served. <laughs> and so I remember going back to the, the Uber driver who was a very quiet guy. I didn't really talk much English. Not to, and then I said, oh, can you please like go in and try and get us some drinks? He's like, yeah, all right. So we oh. went in. And then as he went in, like, we all started tooting the horn out the front and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And right, he storms back out with no drinks. Yeah. And he was like, get out, or you get out. So Probably got, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. 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 warranted. So we all got out, and then one of them, I didn't notice, I was in the back, the very far back, it was like a bit of a van, sort of Uber. And then he took his charger, and then they all, like, ran down the other way of the street, so I went this other way, like, down the main highway. And I was running, and I was, like, going pretty fast. <laughs> from my standards and then I hear this like car just tooting coming the other way and I was like oh, I look behind I was like no way like it's the same car <laughs> no, so I turned down this little like it's kind of alleyway like half straight and I go up the verge and then this car just like does a full U-turn like skids down the street I look behind it's the same guy and he's like before I know it, he's already up on the curb and like Two seconds, three seconds later, I was on the book bonnet and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is going on? And then, um, it was like, <laughs> holy shit. Like, another, like, meter against this big brick wall, and I was like, oh my god. So I just, like, started bashing on the bonnet. <laughs> and, um, he, like, gets out and he was like, you little fucker, give me your charger back. And I was like, I don't have your charger, mate. And I was so drunk, and I just, like, he got back in his car and I just booted his side of his door as he drove <laughs> off. And, and then he was gone, and then I was five just. Five stars? <laughs> no, no, so anyway, I ended up getting, I ended up walking back to my mate's art house is in South Road, and that's where he hit me. It's like a five minute walk to his house, and they were all back there, and they were like, "What's happened to you?" I was like limping in. And I was like, "This guy's just hit me with his Uber." Was, like, get his account up, and then we we're all looking at his account, and he's blocked out and everything, oh. like, deleted his whole account. Wow. Yeah. So. Contact him are, anyway. are you sure this bloke was an Uber? Yeah. <laughs> he's, picked, he's, picked, he's, picked, he's picked all you boys up yeah. in his van <laughs> and then <laughs> gone to the bottle like, and willingly like, no. drinks. He was, then, a, he was a nice guy up until then. No wonder. We'll, we'll, yeah, try, very nice. so, we'll, said, try, um, we'll try and get him on the pod. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe he's probably he's probably he's can, Yeah, comment if you, um if this is true, if you are an Uber driver. Um 
<laughs> but you said he was beeping at you down the down the street. Yeah, down the main highway. Was, and do you reckon you noticed it was his car just because you were beeping his, so you were familiar to the horn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a little glance. I was like, oh, surely not. Like, this just, could not be him. I was praying it wouldn't be him. Just heard the horn and go, oh, no, I know this one. <laughs> 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 yeah, late, mate. Well, we've we talk, but we've just touched on the big nights that you guys have had. But there's one night in particular, very big for the lot of you. Nick, you celebrated your twenty first in uh, December. <laughs> I did. Um, how was your night? How'd you enjoy it? Yeah, it was a good night. That's good. Mm-hmm. It went pretty smoothly. That's yeah. good. Mate. <laughs> it's very good. Had a good time. Yeah. Well, there's one part of it that was just fantastic. Oh. The moment of the night, <laughs> people were saying. Highlight. Uh, Mac, your speech. <laughs> what do you remember of it? Well, I remember like I remember being in the room upstairs, and then these two girls came out and said, "You have to come do a speech." Even though I wasn't planning to do one. No one wanted you to do one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember walking out there, and then remember waiting for Dad to finish his speech, and then I don't remember a single thing after that. Yeah. <laughs> speaking. Well, yeah. uh, well Tinny, do you remember any of what was said? <laughs> I don't remember what was said. I just remember <laughs> losing horrible. it because it was probably the funniest speech <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> I think and Nick's hairline was mentioned. Yeah. Uh, yeah. His so, um, eating habits. The bike yeah. oh, helmet. The helmet. Um, the bike helmet. Yeah. 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 So it is true. Mm. No, it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, come from him. But basically, you've been flamed, and I think um, your parents had to actually take the mic off you. Yeah, my mic off, Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Nick, you were fuming. <clears throat> oh, I've done a walk off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you shook your head, but he's ruined the night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, wasn't my idea. And then you ended um, up looking after me the whole night. Yeah, I looked after you. A funny yeah. story, you <laughs> passed out drunk. On your bed, though. Yeah, on Jack's bed. Yeah, mm. on Jack's bed. Yeah. Mm. We'll get to this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and how'd you pull off? <laughs> oh, God. You obviously warm, warm some yeah. of them. <laughs> well, there was two eskies in the room full of drinks. Yeah. And one of them... <laughs> you one of them, yeah? What did you do? <laughs> say? Well, you, I mean, when you witnessed it. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I, I was, was I there? You, <laughs> you oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Me and, yeah, me and Mitchell Rodriguez were in the room, and you picked up one of the empty eskies and just tipped it all over you, and <laughs> fallen asleep yeah. on Jack's bed. And then in the morning, I woke up, and the other esky that was still full of ice and water, my phone, my wallet, and everything was submerged in it. No. Nice. My phone has a crack back and everything, but it still worked. So I don't know how that happens. Awesome. Yeah. And talking about the speech, I also mentioned Nick being tough, only when he's drunk. And then that was a few things when we are out. And when we're at Metro's, and he's there's a story <laughs> yeah. about that Metro's, you remember this? And what I start getting, Nick starts getting abused, then I help Nick out. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna be by, by oh, just no. a random, random guy? Yeah, yeah okay. not a secchi this time. Do you remember? No. Oh, no, it's not it's not gonna work anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not a terrible story. I like but. the initiative, though. <laughs> yeah, Nick I'm does sure, remember I'm it, but sure he's just a We told Aaron at Nick's work. Well, uh, well, we'll get Aaron on the pod and talk about it. Mac, we know you, your next morning was rough. After the 21st. After yeah. the 21st. Jude, yours was oh. probably rougher. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Tell it, talk us through your yeah. night. Your night um, leading up to the, through the morning because it's, well, oh, it's rough. I had been setting up for Nick's 21st for what we say a week. You probably did most of the work. I'd put in a lot of work in yeah. the speakers and everything. I was sick of it. But I thought I might as well enjoy the night. And the free drinks, so I decided to have quite a few beers. Yeah. And um, it got to late in the night when the police started turning up, so it was kind of shut down. And me and a couple of my mates Ubered to one of my mates' house, and um, there was a party on there, and then that ended at, like, probably one. Anyway, I remember kicking on, like, at this park with a couple of other mates for, like, yep, a couple of hours. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Not until, it was, like, five in the morning, I was stumbling home, and I walked up to the Macca's drive through and... <laughs> There were vomiting just everywhere. <laughs> and I didn't end up going in. I was too embarrassed to walk in. And um, <laughs> so I just kept walking all the way home from this thing with Bicton. Bicton Mackers. Yeah, Bicton Mackers. You live in Frio? Yeah. That's a walk. South Frio. Uh, yeah. Frio. Yeah, yeah. Fair way walking far in the morning. Very drunk yep. still. And then I so got, get home, got home. Got home. And mum, yeah. mum's a whack. Mum has just woken up. She actually walked downstairs <laughs> and she, she's pretty hungover herself. So she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what are you doing? I've... Anyway, so she starts cleaning up. She doesn't say anything to me. And I'm just walking around and I end up tipping myself a glass of white wine. Don't know why. <laughs> and started sipping it with the leftover pizzas. I'm walking around and I get the shock of my life. Actually, one of Nick's workmates 
There's an older fella that Charlie had a sleep on the back, <laughs> oh, on that, the back couch. He wasn't even invited. <laughs> and, and I'm just Some like, just I'm shocked. Yeah. You know, Dad ended up coming downstairs I'm, as I'm just stood there in shock with my white <laughs> wine. And he puts a blanket over him and he goes, Jack, go to bed. Anyway, so I stumble upstairs. And I actually, well, I'll get to this bit. And then I've got, I've, Max actually moved into his bed. I've gone to lay on my bed and that was absolutely soaking wet. <laughs> which, From the esky. Which yes. relates <laughs> back to the esky. No sleep, and mind, bed. No sleep. Anyway, so wet. I ended up just laying in the, in the absolute puddle and trying to sleep. I didn't even fall asleep. And then before I know it, mum's waking me up at 6.30 in the morning because we have a rotten-ass ferry at <laughs> 7 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> and I never felt be... worse in my life. How did she wake you up? Um, I was already awake. <laughs> I hadn't slept. I thought she slapped you in the face and said, oh, "Get she, up!" She shook me. Up. I was in an hour. yeah, I was dazed. <laughs> anyway, I ended up getting up, having fifteen minutes, had a shower, and I'm like, yeah. "Oh, mum, like, why would Fran book this?" But anyway, you know, she was over for a week, so I felt bad. So I wanted to go. <laughs> And I'm getting down at seven, <laughs> worst rottenest trip I've ever had in my life. Oh, right the ferry there. Oh, oh, it was 30, close to 39 degrees. And I was just like, oh my, my God, it was so bad. And um, it was oh. the worst day. What was the wind doing that day? <laughs> <laughs> Dead flat, it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice, mate. Nick, did you go on that trip or were you scared of that one as well? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? No. Nah. Wow. Well, these two could sleep. Yeah. Rough. Yeah. Viewer questions. We love our viewer questions. Always get a few good ones in. Um, first one for Mac. Leave us. How do we lose our bond? <laughs> 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 Happens to the best of us. Usually it's an accident. Uh, well, you guys were all like, out of the house somewhere, and it was just me and Riley home. And we were upstairs in the little... Um, I don't know. There was like a stairs that went up, and then the roofs are held up there, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, low, uh, like, low roofs. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> Axel could stand up and his head would have been touching. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. you could yeah. like reach the roof, yeah? Yeah, it yeah. was like lower than my head. Yeah, and so we were sitting on the bed, just like, I don't even know, we are just drinking. And then I don't know. <laughs> I just got angry and then Riley jokingly punched the roof because you know, yeah. just. It is, that's right. Yeah, well, that's a jokey, fun thing to do. Punch the roof. but Riley, yeah, he, yeah. he punches, like. He yeah. punches things, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so then I wanted to try it and I did it. And nothing happened. And you then. loved it. You got the fever. <laughs> yeah, and then I did it again, and then my hand just went straight through the door, the roof. Oh. And, like, and then put it back, and then it was just a huge hole, and then Riley decided to punch it again, make it a bit bigger. <laughs> yep, yep. And then... And then, like... As you do. Riley, and then that Riley's just what? gone, I'm not letting him take the button by himself. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, back so in me, you know, I'm gonna... <laughs> me and Riley just went downstairs, acted hell casual when you guys got home, and then someone found it upstairs, and me and Riley were like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, how's that happen? And then, yeah. and then eventually Riley caves in and tells them that it was me. But then, like everyone, the parents got there and then they <coughs> saw it. And then I had to go tell the guy. And I just told him I stood up and hit the head. <laughs> just made perfectly fish shaped hole. <laughs> well, he, he believed it. Sucker. <laughs> well, all's well that ends well because in the end that that did end well. We lost probably not much of our bond. It wasn't much, but. Thanks, Tim. So. No, we were. <laughs> 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 yeah. Tim thinks it's still, they're still up. It's still hurting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, next real <clears throat> question for Nick. So, a bit of context. We are all diehard Frio fans. Yeah. Like, very emotional. Yeah. yeah. And it's a painful, very painful to be a Frio fan. It's been a painful oh, 30 far years away. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Far out. Right? Um, but there's one loss in particular <clears throat> that hurt a lot. Uh, 2015 prelim <laughs> final loss to Hawthorne at home. How have you reacted? <laughs> I think I think Jared Ruffhead kicked the goal, which kind of sealed the game. Oh, so I've, fuck you, Ruffhead. <laughs> I've stormed outside. I think my mate at the time followed after me. was like, come on, mate, it's just a game. Yeah, it's just a game. There's yeah. no need to storm outside. <laughs> it's just that makes you angry at the time. <laughs> yeah, you would have been 16. Yeah, yeah around 16. Yeah, 16, 16, yeah, 16 yeah. yeah. And then I was just walking down the street. And it was just kind of the first object I walked past, like a car. <laughs> the windscreen was obviously out, and I just kind of given it a... Thing that Punch just, the windscreen yeah, snap, of the car. Yeah, snapped back, and just, just kept walking. <laughs> Did a full loop around Fredo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so actually, I've been told that the windscreen hit you, and that's why you, you're scared of the cars now. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't drive. So. Yeah. It's actually what? Jude's Uber cars. driver. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's car, he's so everything's <laughs> looping back up. <laughs> 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 Oh, wow. Well, another viewer <coughs> question for Jack mm-hmm. here. Yeah, 
<laughs> There's one time in particular, this involves the three of you, where, look, obviously you're a, a young man now, but there was one time when you might have wanted to be a young woman. <laughs> uh, whoever oh, is best at explaining this, this, whoever's best at explaining this story out of the three of you, nah. I think you should all... Mac, you were probably involved in the dressing up. <laughs> well, it was just, we were up the road at our family friends, and it was... Do you want to suggest my age first? Suggest. <laughs> <laughs> 16, are you? 17. I was probably... Like, you were probably like 13, 14? Yeah. <laughs> and so he was old enough not to be dressing up as a girl. <clears throat> yeah. And we were at our family friends, and we decided, um, well, there's like, she decided to dress him up, so we all just did it. So she did his makeup, like with all her makeup, and then put <laughs> dressed him nice. up. Dressed him up in like a wig, and then this is like one of her old outfits. And then none of the parents were at their house because they were all down at our house, down the road. So then we bring Jack down to our house, and then he walked in, and we had like some fake name for him or something. And all the parents were downstairs drinking, and he went in and he was like, Do you remember what you said? I cannot, I, I do not remember. Do you remember Nick? He said, like, hey ladies or something like that. And then he was like, I'm Sophie, I'm looking for. Oh, that's and then right, he was like, yeah. I'm looking for this house. And then they're like, like, mum and dad didn't recognise him at all that much. <laughs> they got they were like, oh, yeah. I, maybe that's across the road. Like, none of them live here. Like, oh, sorry. And then, like, dad, like, walked her out. <laughs> <laughs> out of the house. And then, like, it had been, like, ten seconds after they had shut the door. And we were all, like, in shock. I like, think Jack was freaking out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were like, how didn't they recognise him? <laughs> like, it was pretty convincing. Well. But it was weird <clears throat> that they didn't even recognise And then I remember we told them. And then they were all, like, oh. We're get, there's photos. We're gonna get the photos and we're gonna put them on the R Insta story. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah geez, for sure. <laughs> Potentially even on the video. Oh, yeah, if we can. If we get them, you'll see. Just them now. right, right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, That's the magic of the pot. Nah, to, to be fair, you know, all boys school, family, brothers, that'll do it to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's probably a reason for it, is it? Yeah, yeah, it'd be a big reason. <laughs> Peer pressure. Oh, well. <laughs> Mac, back to you, mate. I've got another question for you. Now, does fake tan work as wax? That's my question. <laughs> does fake tan work as wax? <laughs> yes or no? Is this, what, is this Alicia's thing? Uh, <laughs> what I'm I'm asking, I, I, no, I just want to know if it does or doesn't. Yes. It does work. And how would you know? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. So we're talking about when I put fake tan. What, what yeah, that wax? would be what we were That's saying. Yeah, white yeah. wax. Where's... Well, you put it in your hair. What do you think it was? Shampoo? No, I thought it was gel. Oh. It was in a gel. It was like in a... <laughs> I, I swear it said on the container it was like gel. So I put it in my hair just a little bit. But then at least you told me it was tan. <laughs> tan and gel? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was in a different... Thing? I swear it wasn't in the right thing. I swear she just put it in there. <laughs> it wasn't the... It said gel on the outside. It was a setup. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it was it? And then, oh, it was it? Does it work? Pardon? Does it work? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so, don't <laughs> try it at home. <laughs> you stick to gel. Don't use a fake tan. Yeah. So who's... Fa- was it... Jude's... Jude's fake tan? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like was it? You still dressing up as well, Sophie? No, yeah. there's a few girls that live in our house. <laughs> it's not me. Yeah, okay. Them. <laughs> okay. Um, Nick, another viewer question for you. <laughs> Look, we know you love a good midnight snack. <laughs> Did from speak the about this earlier. Yeah, yeah. uh, if there had to be one midnight snack in particular oh. that was just really foul. <clears throat> is there one that comes to mind? Because there's an example I have. Oh, wow. oh so many. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to think you remember. Yes, <laughs> oh. Well, this one wasn't a midnight one I'm thinking of. Yeah, like 5, 5 a.m. Yeah. 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 5 a.m. snack, what was it? Oh, I can't remember what it was. I've woken up and it was a chocolate. And... Yeah, here and, it is. and more chocolate. So chocolate. Basically, you've, you've all cooked brownies. I think Mac actually baked brownies. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. someone baked brownies. And you've gone down at 5 a.m., got a brownie... <laughs> Spread Nutella over it That's and right. put another layer of oh. brownie on it and ate that at 5am. Yeah, brownie sandwich, yeah. Oh, do you remember the trouble? Oh. Oh. No. Are we witness? Oh. The Milo, Milo, Milo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mate, that wasn't, you know what, yeah, tell, tell, yeah, tell that. That one was Milo cereal with like chocolate milk and then Milo sprinkled on top of it. So Jeez. it was just triple chocolate. <laughs> but that wasn't a midnight, so that was no, brekkie. That, that, that was normal brekkie. No, I had to trial things, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This I think, oh, that's kind of genius, though. Yeah, I know, you can't go the wrong The cereal that. one's I, pretty genius. I don't hate that, yeah. yeah. Just chocky milk, but you're scared of a few things. 
<laughs> clearly not chocolate. He's clearly not food. <laughs> <laughs> clearly not, no. <laughs> Maybe that's why you set the alarm. What? Oh, snack time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try that. There's another thing he was scared about at high school. What's that? <laughs> Jack oh, t- involving food again, of course. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, I was... I, think, a train. I actually think I was in year seven. He was in year seven, Nick was in year 12. I used to go to the canteen. Dad used to give us all money yep. for lunch. And Nick used to get money too, but I used to receive... <laughs> you would steal it. No, okay, no, we'd get money and then I'd go to the canteen and I'd come out and Nick would be standing there with his mates and he'd say, can you go and buy my food? And <laughs> he was too scared to line up. Uh, of the canteen yeah, ladies? Yeah. yeah. Why were you so scared of the canteen So he would make me or Jack go was... buy his food for him because mm. he wouldn't go in the canteen. No, there was a certain teacher who was just very <laughs> Teachers weren't even in the canteen. Yeah, no, towards the end. We'll bleep their name out. Who is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ca- yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's oh, out. Can't stand yeah. her. No. She kicked through that one time because he was yeah. coming out consulting with me what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You know what? Warranted, probably. Oh, yeah. Holding up the line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have some insane fears, but I will say that. That's <laughs> unbelievable. Um, I got one for Jude. Another real question. Mm. Swan born. Fences. Oh, no yeah. good. <laughs> no. And this probably contributed no. to the comments about your weight on the profile. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, yeah, Jay's on um, the Swanbourne parties we used to head up to. Not anymore. But uh, when we first... When we <laughs> back first, in the day? Like, back you're 16 year old? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, back they, you they used to... They, well, we went to this one beach kind of one and there was like a big club there that Habit was having this big light. It was like, it would have been like, I think it was the 21st. And it was pretty huge. And then there was this big, like, tin fence. And no one wanted to jump her. So I was like, oh, I know. Everyone was like, you give it a try. So then I just decided to just... I was pretty drunk. Just sprint straight at it. And I've just <laughs> gone a big hole straight through it <laughs> and into the crowd. Through the yeah. fence? Straight yeah. through the Colourbond tin fence. And, like um, a... Like, literally, like, like you left train. an imprint in the fence. <laughs> There's a big hole. There's, like, a round... Oh, wow. my God. Just walk through anyway. <laughs> I've looked behind and everyone had started running and before I knew it, there was these two security guards standing there <laughs> and I just went up going through the front door of the party and running off myself. But, <laughs> yep, and there's been a few other times I won't stay about running through. No, it's good. <laughs> the no, it's good. <laughs> See, I, I thought you actually were on top of the fence trying to get over it and it's collapsed. So. I'm, I'm, I, I may have tried <laughs> once to jump it and then gone through it again. <laughs> second time. So, second occurrence. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, boys. Freo Dons this week. Mm. Yep. Mm. And we know you are Freo fans, but you do have a soft spot for the Dons. History yeah. with Essendon. What's yeah. that, Nick? What's up? Your history <laughs> with Essendon? Your family? Dad, yeah, Dad's dad played for the Bombers yep. in the AFL. There we go. So it, you man? love the Bombers yeah. as well. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, quick tips for the game, Nick? Oh, Bombers, I think, win. Bombers? Yeah. Jack? I'll okay, go Bombers just. Nah. Freo by a goal. Hey, hello. Like tight, that. tight. <laughs> You're my favourite now. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, no, go for it. I'm tipping for it. Yeah. I'm going to go... Frio get up. Monairo kicks five. <laughs> Shame Monairo. <laughs> he's, he's not playing. He's not playing. <laughs> Who's going to have to step up? Uh, Mitchie, Mitchie Crowder, Mitch. big friend of the he's show. He's definitely listening. He's definitely listening yeah. and he's going to kick six. Go on, Boy. Mitchie. Do it for us, Mitchie mate. Mitchie kicks six. You read it. Here's the headline. You heard it here first. There we go. <laughs> Mitchie Crowder and six. All right. Well, we've actually got a bit of a quiz for you. Just... Uh, who's most or like who's most likely to or yeah. mm. like who is the whatever you know? Yeah. So, best footballer out of the three, yeah. Who do you think? I think I've achieved the most. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'd, I'd say Nick. Just yeah. Mac. Well, sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah, but yeah. Nick in Nick twenty eighteen, Nick. Twenty yeah. Mm. Prime time, Fox. Yeah. At their peak, yeah. When he was fit, now it's probably... Well, Judas is the only one playing. I'm not playing at the moment. Nick's playing. Play. <laughs> you can't even run out the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. Yeah. So, Jack. Yeah, Jude, okay. you're the man. Yep. Right on, mate. <laughs> um, now, we all love our East Freo crook. <laughs> Cricket. Um, who's the best cricketer? Oh, best bowler. I'll okay. say, when I'm on, I'm going to be one of the best. You get it oh. swinging. You do get the yeah. new yeah. ball hoping. I'd have to go My first game. I'd have to go. Yeah. Jude again. So yeah. Jude's just... Jude, yeah. Jude's all around the best mm. athlete. He's like unplayable when he has the ball going in. Yeah. I'd say Max's pretty unplayable. He gets his yeah. pace. Oh. Yeah. Nick, you're Tobacco. more known for your standard <laughs> deliver. <laughs> Thank you. Powering the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's his name, the West Indian? Oh. <laughs> uh, big... Uh, 
Rakeem Connell. Rakeem Connell. We're going to find all the men. <laughs> right, <laughs> right there. Um, um, <laughs> next one. Who's the best looking brother? Oh. <laughs> Kenny, go on. We can wipe one out straight away. <laughs> yeah, like you, mate. Well, <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> Moving on, this actually did get sent into us by Dylan Sheepmaker. Big shout out to Shout him. out to Dylan Sheepmaker. <laughs> hey, us. Who's got the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> who's Dylan Sheepmaker? He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's literally oh, said oh, it, who's got the biggest. So. <laughs> don't know why I want to know, but... Oh, no comment. <laughs> yeah. no, no comment? No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've got to that part of the show. My, my favourite part. <laughs> cult hero. Yeah. Let's start Let's start with Mac. Mac, give us an example of a cult hero. Let's start with... Dude, cut that part. I told you that I haven't got right. one yet. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did tell you, we we did tell you about two hours ago. Think of one, but that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I know you've got a good one. They all told me I wouldn't think of one. So, um, cult hero, dude, give us uh, one. It'd probably be that, that guy that <laughs> after you have a big contest with him in the footy game that just comes over to you, gives you the one hand and picks you up, pats you on the back, and after you're laying on the ground a bit sore, be, he's my cult hero. Yeah, <laughs> the what The dude who picks the opposition player yeah. who picks you yeah, up. Yeah, picks you up after a big contest. Yeah, nice. And mm. then, yeah, you go your separate ways and keep <laughs> yeah, playing. Keep going. Tinny, you ever been involved in a big contest like that? No. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah. I don't think I've laid a tackle in about 12 seasons. <laughs> well, so. Tinny, that's untrue. Maybe not on the footy field. Maybe there's a game that myself, yourself and Mac used to play at the beach. Oh, he's cleared me up a few times there. But, um... uh, we'll touch on that a little bit. So basically, <laughs> me and Mac made this game... Obviously, you're a tin man. You don't like water too much. A bit rusty. Um, we, we go down the beach, and you're in the water, and me and Mac are probably just on the edge of the sand in the water, and the game's basically, you got to get past us, and we're just trying to belt the piss out of you. Yeah, it's not fair. The odds are against me. And um, was there one time, <laughs> yes or no... That I cleaned you up? You might have no. got a bit teary. Not, yes. not true. 100%. Definitely not true. 100% Max said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, just got, I got salt water in my eyes. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. I actually don't remember that. I don't think I've... You don't remember no, that? I don't think that's happened. What, was, what did you say? I have cleaned you up before in that game. You didn't sternum? clean me up. Sternum. Yeah, sternum. Bump and bounce. Mm. Do you know how it is? <laughs> yeah, look, that was that really took the wind out yeah. of me. Yeah. But anyway, enough about me. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, Nick. Nick, yeah. Cult hero for you. What's your example? Oh. <clears throat> Didn't quite come up with one either, but I got caught on the spot. Oh, Jesus. Sticking on the footy thing. Yeah. The sort of simple one with the bloke that does the jumpers. Takes the hey, that was actually me. On. That was me on okay, yeah. last game. So, <laughs> so yeah. one dude, yeah. Yeah. Well, I actually so. earned it because I missed from goals. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, nah, respect that. Yeah. Mm. Jumpers. Yeah. yeah. Mac. <laughs> Anything you say has got to be better than the bloke who takes on jumpers. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um... <laughs> When you're at the shops, yeah, or when you're, you know, somewhere that you're buying stuff and you're, <laughs> you're short, it changed, you're like, you don't have the, enough money to do it, and the guy behind you, who offers to pay for you. Oh, oh right. no, that's a good one. That is a good that's, one. That's uh, a good best one. of a lot, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I did like Jude's. I, I like Jude's. Yeah. And Nick's is good too. Yeah, yeah, been, no. We've been a bit harsh on Nick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to walk off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, just quickly, one more thing, <laughs> Nick. Uh, Give us your best Ross Lyon impression. You gotta give us one. Nah, I'll do it. Yeah, you do it. Oh, look. There was a lot of positives. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a win loss business, but well, there's certainly a lot of positives. <laughs> you, you gotta play the kids. <laughs> yeah, <said> that. Yeah. <laughs> let, let the cobblers do the cobblers. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for coming on. That was an, a great episode. The couch so is good. held up. <laughs> Me and Timmy are all good. Just a bit like squashed over here, but yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. cramping up. Yeah. <laughs> nah, awesome yeah. episode, boys. Really appreciate you coming on. So. All right. Too thanks good. a lot, guys. And uh, thanks for tuning in to episode six of uh, Cult Status Pod. Catch you later.